There were eight black hearses on the slow drive through southern England last week, each with a coffin draped with a flag. And when they reached the town of Wooten Bassett, there were 5,000 people to watch them pass. I think it's very humbling. You know, the all young men um, could be, you know, my son. Just to pay me respect. Ex-soldier. The eight soldiers were killed in Afghanistan, where 16 British troops have died so far this month. What began here two years ago as a small show of respect, last week became a scene of national mourning. <laughs> this town holds no special claim as Britain's funeral home for fallen soldiers. The fact that every corpse brought home from a foreign battlefield is brought through Wooten Bassett is just an accident of geography. The airbase where for the past two years casualties have been flown back to Britain is just six miles out of town. To get to the families who'll bury the bodies, the coffins all pass through Wooten Bassett. With more than 9,000 of its troops in Afghanistan and a death toll rising, so are Britain's questions about the war whether its troops are underfunded, whether they should be there at all. Polls say the country's divided, but Afghanistan's obvious to Ken Scott, who fought for Britain in wartime 60 years ago. We shouldn't be there, yes, that's right. That's my feeling, we shouldn't be there. If they come home tomorrow, I should be very delighted. Yet for now, he plans to stand in silence on the town's main street every time a British soldier's body is brought home. So does Mayor Steve Bucknell. We've said that we are going to stand out there for as long as is necessary. Um, every time there's repatriation, we will be there. But it's only to show respect for Britain's warriors, he says, and not intended to make a point about the war. Richard Roth, CBS News, Wooten Bassett.